Did you know pugs frequently appeared in Chinese legends and folklore? Or that they're also the mascot for a secret society? Interested in knowing how a pug became India's most famous dog? Stick around. Today, we're counting down 10 little known facts about the pug you wouldn't believe. And that all starts right now on The Smart Canine. The only show that explores the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Smash the like button if you want more pug videos. Number 10. Pugs were popular in ancient China because of their facial wrinkles. Wrinkles are one of the most signature traits of the pug. Even the American Kennel Club states that the pug's wrinkles should be large and deep to be considered the breed standard. However, did you know there's a significance to their wrinkles? In ancient China, pugs were regarded as royal companion dogs meant for only the emperors and aristocrats of the Middle Kingdom. But giving the pug such an honor wasn't random. Rather, the facial wrinkles are to be thanked for this. The vertical wrinkle that sits on the pug's forehead has a name, called the Prince Mark, due to its close resemblance to the Chinese character for the word prince. If the mark was formed by three wrinkles with a vertical bar, it was considered to be a perfect prince mark. Number 9. Pugs are frequently featured in Chinese legends. Because pugs are one of the oldest dog breeds to originate out of China, is it really a surprise that they're a part of so many ancient Chinese legends? For example, in Tibet, pugs are actually known as Lag's Ki, which directly translates to hand dog in English. This nickname comes from an ancient Tibetan legend regarding the birth of these dogs. And according to this legend, when a human places his or her hand on a newborn eagle shortly after being hatched, the eagle will transform into a pug, hence being called hand dog. Another Chinese legend is that pugs are the descendants of the Fu dogs due to their close physical resemblance. Fu dogs are mythical creatures in ancient China. They were believed to be imperial guardians who, according to folklore, are able to transform into dragons when the opportunity calls for it. In fact, it's still very common to see the statues of Fu dogs at the doorways of temples, homes, and buildings in China. They are still believed to protect against burglars, bad fortune, and evil spirits. Number 8. The most famous dog in India was a pug. With so many beautiful dog breeds originating from India, it's a bit difficult to believe that a pug has become the most famous dog in the country. Well, it's true. Back in 2008, when Indian telecom giant Vodafone set out on a new advertising campaign, they chose a pug to be featured in their marketing. The story of the campaign depicts a pug named Chika, who is persistent in following a child to his or her everyday locations. In fact, their campaign tagline was, wherever you go, our network follows. And surely enough, that's exactly what Chika did. The pug was seen as loyal, steady, and dependable which lined up perfectly with the messaging and how the telecom network wanted to portray their services. Needless to say, the campaign was a hit, and shortly after, Chica became a celebrity dog that appeared on billboards, newspapers, and television all around the country. Number 7. A pug once saved William the Silent's life. The Netherlands House of Orange was founded in 1544 by none other than the Prince of Orange named William the Silent. And in 1572, as the Dutch were trying to claim their independence in the midst of the Eighty Year War, William the Silent was the prince that led the Dutch forces into battle. So on one quiet night when William the Silent was fast asleep in his tent, Spanish assassins invaded the camp in an attempt to take out the Dutch military leader. Fortunately for the prince, his trusted and loyal pug named Pompey quickly woke up and started to alert his owner of intruders by loudly barking and starting a ruckus. With all the commotion from his pug, the prince woke up and had the assassins apprehended. In other versions of this Dutch legend, the assassins invaded William's home, and he had escaped thanks to Pompey. Either way, Pompey the pug was the hero of this story. Number 6. The pug is a mascot for a secret society. The secret's out. Pugs are the mascot for a centuries-old secret society. Shortly after the Roman Catholic Church banned Freemasonry, a growing group of Catholics still wanted to participate in the Freemason Society. So, they ended up forming their own secret society called the Order of the Pug. They had some, well, interesting rituals that fit into the theme. For example, newcomers were initiated by wearing a dog collar, and to get into the entrance, they had to scratch at the door. One of the most interesting rituals for newcomers is having them blindfolded and led around on a leash. 
All well members barked at them like a dog. Kind of a funny animal for an ultra-secretive group, right? But of all the animals, why did they choose the pug? It's well documented that the Order chose the pug because they see these dogs as a symbol of loyalty, trustworthiness, and steadiness. And if you've ever owned a pug, you know there's no better words to describe these dogs. Number 5. A group of pugs is called a grumble. Animals are no stranger to interesting and unique collective nouns. For example, a group of jellyfish is called a smack, while a group of elk is called a gang. Even a group of crows identify as a murder. But my favorite is the pugs. We already know that the collective noun for most dogs is a pack. However, this isn't the case with the pug. A single dog is a pug, well, two dogs can be called pugs. But three or more pugs? We call this a grumble. There's no official explanation for why this is. However, one realistic explanation is that pugs are known for their unique nasal vocalizations, such as snorting or grumbling. Another possible explanation is that the pug is called the mopshot in Holland, which comes from the Dutch word to grumble. Number four, the Duke of Windsor's passion was his pugs. Among British royalty, plenty of famous dog breeds come to mind, such as the Prembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cocker Spaniels. But did you know that pugs had been popular with the British elite since the 17th century? When King William arrived from the Netherlands with his pugs, Queen Victoria instantly fell in love with these wonderful dogs. However, it was the Duke and Duchess of Windsor that took the love for the pugs to another level. During his life, he owned at least 11 pugs, the most famous one being Dizzy, who was named after British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli. The Duke also had another pug named Diamond, famously known to sleep in his bed. Diamond ran away from home just two weeks prior to the Duke's death. But miraculously, the pug returned home just a few hours before the Duke actually passed away. Number three, black pugs tend to shed less than other colors. If you're allergic to dog fur, pugs may not be the best choice. After all, they're notorious shedders that'll likely trigger reactions in allergy-sensitive owners. But if you are allergic yet you have your heart set on a pug, there is hope. Pugs with a black coat tend to shed less than pugs with other color coats. Although other colored pugs, such as the apricot or fawn, have double coats, the black colored pugs are much more likely to have just a single coat. Generally, dogs with a double coat shed much more than their single-coated counterparts. This is not to say black pugs don't shed at all. They just have less fur to be shed. Number two, a pug once bit Napoleon on his wedding night. Napoleon's wife, Josephine Bonaparte, owned a loyal pug named Fortune long before she was married to Napoleon. Even while Josephine was held captive at the Reign of Terror, her trusted pug helped deliver messages to her first husband. However, on the night of Napoleon and Josephine's wedding, the bride refused to kick Fortune off of their wedding bed. This resulted in Fortune infamously biting Napoleon for trying to physically force the dog off the bed, leaving a permanent scar that would remain on Napoleon's ankle for the rest of his life. Number 1. Pugs were known as Dutch Mastiffs. When pugs first arrived on the scene, the little companion dogs were known as the Dutch Mastiff, though sometimes called the Miniature or the Dwarf Mastiff in other parts of Europe. However, this name is a misnomer. Pugs are neither Dutch nor Mastiff-type dogs. And if you don't know what a Mastiff is, they're the biggest and often baddest dogs in the canine kingdom. For example, you have the Tibetan Mastiff, a mighty Chinese dog breed known for its strong will, protectiveness, and bravery. But the Pug? They don't really seem to fit the bill. So what actually led to this ridiculous name? When Pugs first arrived, they were called Mastiffs mostly because of the wrinkles on their face, which resembled the wrinkles found on nearly all Mastiff-type dogs. Even the body contours and coloring of the coats were similar to that of a Mastiff. So, in other words, this nickname had everything to do with resembling physical traits and nothing to do with genetics. Needless to say, this nickname didn't catch on for obvious reasons. So, what was your favorite pug fact? Were there any interesting facts that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs.